In 2017, we had a historic solar eclipse, monster hurricanes, and even a 4.1 magnitude earthquake in Delaware. Mother Nature was busy, but not as busy as we were on post time. Of course, we were on location for all the big local races, like when veteran pacer Sparky Mark won the Governor's Cup for the second year in a row. Down by the Seaside made his final career appearance at Dover Downs with a progress pace victory before retiring. And a bit of a legend, one of the top older pacers in North America, crossed the wire first in the Quillen Memorial at Harrington Raceway. Thankfully for Jordan Stratton, just so y'all know, um, if there is ever a problem in a race and your horse does not win, you always blame the driver. Not only did we visit tracks and races of today, but yesteryear was also on the agenda, including a couple of classic battles of the Brandywine, featuring Eddie the Quick and Rambling Willie. One of my favorite moments of the year happened not on the track, but in the paddock when Governor John Carney met Foiled again, the richest horse in harness racing history. And while we're on the subject of superstar pacers, Delaware's own world champ Wiggle It Jiggle It took the year off from racing. However, he still stayed in the spotlight as he teamed up with internationally known hip hop artist A Million the Poet to sponsor scholarships for local high schoolers and star in a music video. Started without a dollar, just a daughter in a dream. We took a road trip to Goshen, New York, where we watched celebrity Hall of Fame driver John Campbell compete in his final United States race before retiring. We also visited the Empire State to watch the international trot at Yonkers Raceway, won by Italy's Twister B. And we jet set to Ireland for the Vincent Delaney Memorial and talked to racing with Aaron McGregor, sister of UFC champ Conor McGregor. But it was our small wonder state that was all the buzz around the globe as the New Zealand Horse of the Year, Chris and me, moved to our first state. If the down under folks didn't know where Delaware was before, believe me, they do now. Although not a star at the track, Parsons Best, a 39-year-old Delmarva retired harness horse, sure raced into a lot of hearts after his feature. And this past season, we once again showed how big those hearts were in our harness racing community with several different events for nonprofit organizations, raising money and awareness for super important causes that saw our horsemen and women take an active part in. One of the most unique and fun and ultra special moments was when we all got together to do the Chubby Checker Twist Challenge for Mascots for a Cure with harness racing princess Layla Mosley leading the way. Let's twist! Come on, baby. This year brought us so many wonderful stories, and our guests were gracious and so fantastic. We're happy that we got you on the show, yay! Yeah, got to be with my girl, boy. I got me smiling. I ain't smiling like this in a long time. Knowing that I got this award last year, how are you going to fill the shoes? Because, you know, I make power. Anytime you got a mountain that big to climb, you don't look at it as a whole. Just try to take it one baby step at a time, do the best you can. We got the inside scoop on caretaker Butch Scott being on a billboard and got a behind the scenes look at the hospital of Dr. Patty Hogan, the world famous equine vet to the stars. We hung out with some Clydesdales at Ocean Downs because, well, who doesn't love these gentle giants? Also at the ocean, we watched our amazing versatile standardbreds compete in racing under saddle competition. Okay, I admit it, sometimes we got off topic, but we got some great diet tips from driver John Roberts and learned how to deck the stalls with Christmas cheer. -la 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 -la. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. We found out how to be happily married for 30 years from Joe and Linda McDonald. Joe would make 
all of the major decisions and Linda would make all the minor decisions. And so far, there's never had to be any major decisions made. <laughs> That's a good one. Yes, we even got summertime hacks and pickup lines from Jason the Jet Thompson. Do you know karate? Because your body is kicking. Yeah. What do you call a pig with laryngitis? Disgruntled? Mm. We found out that Aaron Merriman, who for several seasons in a row has had more wins than any other horse driver in the world, is barely allowed to drive a car. <laughs> That's uncomfortable. Um, I actually do have my license though, and I'm legal. I mean, I rented a car today and everything like that, so I'm good. Um, but I do, a friend of mine actually has been driving me a little bit again, um, like a couple of days a week, so it helps. Definitely in Ohio, where the points actually count. Um, but I do have a valid driver's license for everybody that like to know. Um, I just have had a a lot of speeding tickets, you know, but none of them were excessive. I just have an excessive number of them. I've never had anything up for 20 miles an hour over, which is, they call that excessive speeding, but I'm, I think I'm facing jail time at any traffic violation at all in Ohio, so. I feel like we're actually in a courtroom. It's so funny. And we answered the question, what's cooking? As Susan Skinner baked up some pumpkin spice oatmeal horse cookies. Nothing matches her baking skills, except maybe her acting skills. She and her husband Jason and driver Corey Callahan are shoo-ins for an Emmy with their performances in our State Farm parody. You do that for me? Really? I'll be at the track tomorrow night. Yeah, I like that. Who are you talking to? It's Corey from the track. Yeah, I'll be there before the first. Corey from the track at this hour? Who is this? It's Corey from the track. What are you wearing, Corey from the track? Um, green and gold colors? She sounds hideous. Well, she's a guy, so... Another reason more people stay with State Farm. Get to a better state. And the laughs will continue in 2018. And so will the action and the adventure and the personality profiles and the great stories about our fantastic four-legged athletes. Thanks again for a post-time-tacular season and get ready for another incredible year.